Hey guys, this is Kent from Bless Farm. I'm gonna get with you here today about how to process a duck, and we'll be right back with you right now. You can see that the uh, the ducks are upside to uh, scald the bird, and this is the scalding tank that I built out of a 55 gallon drum. It has two water heal heater elements in the bottom of it that heats it up and the ideal temperature is I've found is right around 150 which you can see maybe on my thermometer is a little bit over 150 but uh, we're gonna give it a shot and we take and I put uh, some dishwashing uh, liquid also in the water which is supposed to help penetrate to the skin of the bird and so we've got our our bird here it's ready to go where we're gonna put it in for about two minutes minute and a half two minutes something like that you want to get the bird down in there as quickly as you can to get that water to uh, penetrate those feathers sometimes they're a little difficult to get down in the water put that in there and I go ahead and move it up and down to get the uh, water to penetrate the feathers better and this rascal is not wanting to there we go, get him underwater there. Now what you want to do also is when you get close to your time uh, at this temperature, usually it's about a minute and a half, anywhere from a minute and a half to two minutes, and then you want to test a wing feather or a tail feather, and if it pulls out easily, then that bird is is done. It's ready to be ready to be plucked. You don't want to over overdo it because then you'll start getting to where you're cooking the skin and then you'll actually pull the skin right off the bird which I've done. Uh, still edible but just not very presentable. Like I said I go up and down to get that water to penetrate those feathers. We're getting close to our time still has some wax to be melted but for the most part it's it's melted you want to get this water anywhere from 160 to 180 degrees and that is a special wax it's called duck wax that we're using and so we're going to take our duck and we're going to put him down in there and get him covered with some wax here get him good and covered with wax And now we'll let it drain and as you can see I've spilled a little bit of that wax out in that water got it a little full so now we'll take him and we'll go over to our our cold tank and we'll put it in there to let that wax harden see how hard that is see how stiff it is now We'll let that go ahead and make sure it gets nice and stiff. And then we'll go on to the next step. the bird after it has all the wax uh, on it. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start just peeling away at the legs and get that wax off of there and pull any feathers off on the legs. Put it over here in my bucket where I can reuse that. And we'll start up here and take a little bit of this off so you can see that. It's a little hard one-handed here. But as you can see, it's pulling those feathers right out of there. We'll get this other leg done here. And pull this off down here. I have tried doing ducks before without using duck wax. And at that point, I said I would never do it again. That was before I found out that there was such a thing as duck wax. And when I found out about it and I tried it, I went, now that is the cat's meow right there. It works slick. And it, uh, I mean, I literally was trying to pluck six ducks and it took me literally all day to do it. And on top of it, I was watch, or listening to my 
favorite football team, my college football team, and they were losing, so it was even more of a frustrating day that day. Probably, which is why I said I would never do the thing again, <laughs> plucking the ducks again. But boy, I tell you what, this wax really works slick. So anyway, that's the process of uh, you know taking your duck from the, the chicken tractor or whichever pen you have them in to, to the plucking process, and there you go. And uh, you can watch another video uh, to learn how to do proper uh, viscerating, is what they call it, or or gutting it, whatever you want to call it. So that's kind of what it looks like. We'll turn it over and we'll do the backside. But thanks for watching. So there you go, guys. That's how you process a duck. Uh, we really didn't want to, but um, that little friendly duck of ours, it had a run in with a dog, and um, we had to do what you do. We didn't want it to suffer, and so we went ahead and processed her and um, hated to do it, but we had to. Uh, it was pretty interesting and kind of an educational thing for my girls. They could see how the, the eggs were formed from the large one that was getting ready to be hatched today or laid today all the way back to the ones that were going to be coming in the future. So there's the way we do it here on Blessed Farms and my friends do it. So I would add some of their things and ours together and show you how we process chickens and turkeys and ducks here on the farm so i hope you you uh, enjoyed it if you like you can see us here facebook instagram and twitter leave us a message leave us a comment let us know what y'all think please subscribe if you aren't subscribed and come back and see us all right we're going to have a lot more good things coming up here and we'll catch y'all later so as always guys y'all live well and god will bless you see y'all later just amazing how many eggs are inside